Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again, and today I have a Halo Mega Box set to be reviewing with you. Um, and today I have the ODSD Hawk set. Um, so this is set number 96850. Uh, contains 328 pieces, and it's for ages 8 plus. Um, it's also a Toys R Us exclusive, so you can only get it there. Um, it also shows up right up here, the sticker that says only at Toys R Us. Uh, retail price is $20.99. Uh, it's on sale this, through the 24th of November for 25% off, and that comes to be about $15, uh, which is a great deal for this pack, if you can find it through the sale. Um, so, anyways, it's got some nice um, packaging here. The background is New Mombasa, so that's the first time they've actually taken a actual background from a Halo game and not Halo Wars, like a, a game that Bungie's made and not just the Halo Wars. Um, I think it's the Halo 2 new Mombasa, but uh, it might be ODST, but I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, uh, it's got a nice picture of the ODST here. A little uh, battle going on, showing all the stuff off, and etc. Uh, up here shows all the figures. Um, on the back shows the set, of course. Uh, little pictures for each one of the characters, and then it's got a little description for each vehicle. And of course, all the other um, sets for the 2010 line. Um, not all of them, but a vast majority of them. Uh, so anyways, that's pretty much it for the box part. Uh, so now let's move on to the actual set. Uh, so we got the Hawk here. And let's move this camera up. Let's get this lowered down. There we go. Um, so it comes with one Hawk, uh, one Ghost, and also three figures. You get a Jackal. Uh, you also get a Elite. And you get an ODST Trooper. Um, so, you get quite a bit for $15 if you get it on the sale, um, but if you don't get it, you know, for like, on the sale you get it for like 20 bucks. it's still, you get a lot of stuff for it. Um, so, anyways, uh, I'll go over the Ghost first. Uh, so the Ghost is the updated version, it's not the one from the first series of these Halo Mega Box, um, but it's in a better updated, um, sculpt, I guess you can say, um, they put some more detail into it. It's more sturdier this time. It doesn't fall apart like the other one did. Um, and then they even added a clear block to give it a uh, hovering feel or illusion. Um, got some little cockpit details there. Got some handlebars. Uh, it's got the twin plasma um, cannons right here, whatever you want to say. Um, and yeah, uh, so you can fit one figure on there. Um, the leaps meant to go on there. That's how they show it. Um, but uh, the Elite here, which you can see, he's just the basic blue one. Uh, he comes with a carbine, uh, which is nice to get new weapons in there. Um, and other than that, he's pretty much the same. It's got the same articulation, which is ball-jointed neck, uh, ball-jointed shoulders, hinged elbows, uh, swivel wrists, swivel waist, ball-jointed hips, and hinged knees. Um, so, nice little Elite figure. You can always want to army build those. Um, so, now moving on. The other Covenant figure you get is the Jackal, which is relatively new in this series. Uh, he also comes with the brand new Carbine. Uh, he also comes with his um, shield gauntlet, which he puts on his arm. Uh, he just holds it in his hand. It doesn't like clip onto his actual arm or anything. Uh, but pretty nice figure. Uh, this is the only the second set that's had this figure so far. Uh, the first one was um, what's that? I think it it was the Red Hornet, if I'm correct. Um, and also the short sword, or the long sword. Um, so yeah, pretty cool figure. You know, it's got some nice detail and everything. Really nice looking. I like the shield gauntlet. Um, same articulation, which is ball jointed head, uh, ball jointed shoulders, hinged elbows, uh, swivel forearms, swivel waist, uh, ball jointed hips, and hinged knees. Uh, it is a little hard for this figure to stand up, but oh well. Uh, still really nice to get these figures in there. Um, last as the UNSC figure, which is an ODSD. Uh, this time around he's got a brownish armor for a secondary color. Uh, so that's just basically going on his chest plate and also on his helmet. Uh, but everything else is pretty much exactly the same. He comes with a shotgun, which is right here. Um, and yeah, articulation is ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, hinged elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist, ball jointed hips, and hinged knees. Um, so that's the basic mini figures for the set along with the ghost so let's just move those aside for right now 
Um, now moving on to the main part of the set, which is the Hawk. Um, so it's basically a different version, a, kind of an updated version from the first wave of these Halo sets. Uh, it's in a whole entire different color, as you can see. It's in an ODSD convert camo, um, so that's how it's supposed to be. It isn't like an actual vehicle that's in the Halo series, you know, it's just something they made up. Um, but it's it's a really nice vehicle. It's quite large, as you can see here. Um, it's even longer than the Scorpion. Um, almost as long as the Pelican, too. Um, but it's really cool. You know, you got the opening cockpit here. It is kind of hard to fit a figure in there, but oh well. Um, pretty cool. Uh, you got those. You got these uh, cannons uh, under the wings here that move up and down. So you got two of those there. Uh, there's also twin machine guns right here. Um, they also added these new rockets under the wings. So you get three on that side and three on this side as well. Um, and then it's got the nice turbo fans up here on the top. Um, and then it's got the back wings. It's got UNSC written here. Got the wings. Um, and yeah. Uh, so it's a pretty cool vehicle. I really like this one. Um, I'm kind of glad that I actually passed on the first Hawk and got this one instead. Um, because it's a great vehicle. The other one, I know for a fact it fell apart really easily because the first set of Mega Bloks was really loose, but they really picked up their um, pace on these and made them a lot more uh, not fragile. Um, but anyways, it's, it's a really cool vehicle. I really like this one. Um, but it's just the thing is I don't know where to put it. It takes up quite a bit of room. Um, but it's a really cool vehicle and really worth the price point for this set. Um, so, pretty cool. Uh, so, that's pretty much it for this set. Uh, you get that, you get the ghost, and then you get the three figures, of course. The uh, Jackal, the Elite, and the ODSD. Um, so I'm going to rate this set a 5 out of 5. Um, it's really nice, you know, you get a lot of stuff for your, your buck. Um, you know, $20 is not bad for 300 and something pieces. Um, if this was Lego, it would probably be like 40 bucks. Um, so that's the thing I like about Mega Bucks, they're cheap. Um, but not in the cheap, like their stuff is cheap like their prices are cheap on their stuff um, not their quality is pretty decent it's up to par with Halo I mean with Lego I guess you could say uh, but you know it's still it's a little bit different but it's still really nice um, so anyways uh, that's pretty much it for this review and I'll see you guys in the next video